Under federal law, up to 40% of firearm transactions are private and do not require a background check. Some law enforcement leaders are hoping to change that. Good evening. I'm Meredith McDonough. I'm Jim Payne. The latest data shows, on average, 91 people are killed every day by firearms in this country. And so far this year, gunfire is the leading cause of death for officers killed in the line of duty, up 64% from last year. West 2's Amanda Ober has reaction from today's news conference held by the National Law Enforcement Partnership to prevent gun. Gun violence. A group calling itself the National Law Enforcement Partnership to Prevent Gun Violence issued a big call here at the convention center today. They're calling for an extension of background checks to cover all gun sales. Their news conference at the International Association of Chiefs of Police meeting was kicked off by Orlando's own chief of police, John Mina. A bad guy with a gun is a bad guy with a gun. Whether he bought it at a gun store or answered an online ad. It is estimated that up to 40% of firearm transactions are private and they do not require a background check in many states across America. You know, that's like letting 40% of airline passengers board an airplane without a security check. Groups that advocate for gun owners' rights have watched efforts to expand background checks with a wary eye. Just a year ago, the U.S. Congress rejected a bill that would have established universal checks for gun sales. Mina says he believes requiring the expanded checks would not only keep his police officers more safe, but also the general public. Out of the 16 homicides in Orlando, uh, 14 of those homicides involved uh, firearms. So all the two of our homicides involved firearms, so that's why I'm here today. I reached out to both the state and national offices of the NRA today to get their reaction for this call for extended background checks, but we did not hear back. At the Orange County Convention Center, Amanda Oberwesch, 2 News.